So Dr. Scholz, you know, obviously bone metastasis, that's very scary to many people, including their families, but you've treated so many people. Are there stories where people have had these bone metastasis treated and been able to live long lives? Yeah, I'd like to share a couple stories with you, but before uh, mentioning those brief uh, uh, little vignettes, I, th I think it's good for people to know, the people that don't have bone metastasis, that with out bone metastasis, it's really practically impossible for men to get sick from prostate cancer. So people are many times uh, running in fear of the possibility of metastatic disease, but um, there is a pathway where the disease has to spread to the bones, and then over a period of time, it can get worse and, and even be fatal. But the stories that um, came to mind when you told me we were going to cover this topic, um, Three, three gentlemen um, that have been treating for a long time, uh, I think help people understand that there's not a, um, a black and white, uh, you know, this is the end of my life type thing. I had one patient, Robert, diagnosed back in 1995. Um, he was only 50 years old, PSA of 100. His Gleason score was nine. And he had a positive bone scan in the ribs and uh, two, shot, two spots in the pelvis, three spots and also one in the, I'm sorry, in the uh, right leg. So um, bone scans can sometimes uh, uh, show spots that aren't cancer. So you, when people do really well, you wonder, well, maybe the bone scan wasn't real. But he had a bone biopsy, and it proved that those spots were cancer. And uh, so he was treated with Lupron and Casadex starting in 1995. And um, he also gave himself some experimental medicine called PC Spez. He later w uh, went on abiraterone in 2012 when that got approved. But he lived to be 74, unfortunately passing away in um, 2019 from colon cancer, and uh, his PSA was undetectable. So uh, that was accomplished really with just standard Lupron. He never had any radiation to his bones. Um, another case uh, we had, um, his name was Frank. He was diagnosed back in 1996, 24 years ago. He was 56 years old, Gleason 8, PSA of 230. His bone scan showed three mets. He also had a biopsy to confirm that they were actually spots of prostate cancer and went on Lupron and Casadex. And his PSA went to undetectable levels. He had another bone scan in 2013 and one in 2019. They were both clear. And as of March of this year, 2020, uh, Frank's 80 years old and his PSA is 0 0.01. A third patient, um, Will, was uh, diagnosed in 2010, about 10 years ago at age 61. He had, his uh, PSA was less than 10, he had Gleason 8, and he had CT and bone scans showing uptake in his pelvis. Bone biopsy, again, confirmed that it really was prostate cancer in the bone. Uh, he was treated with a little more modern approach where we gave him Lupron and Casadex, but we also gave him a short course of chemotherapy, and he had radiation to the spots on his bones and to his prostate. When uh, Zytiga came out in 2012, that was added to his protocol, and his PSA is less than 0.02 today in June of 2020. So the um, two things here. One is that men who are treated early, uh, excuse me, treated aggressively um, and get into remissions can remain in remissions indefinitely. So the old aphorism that sooner or later everyone becomes hormone resistant is simply not true. And the, um, and the other thing is that what we call prostate cancer is not one thing. There are certainly types that are very sensitive to uh, the therapies that we have available and can, men can do extremely well. So people have to be careful when they conclude that it's the end of the game, if there's a metastasis, that, uh, that, uh, that they're doomed to a bad outcome someday. That's not necessarily the case. You're looking at um, Robert and Frank 20, almost 25 years later. Um, you know, if I hadn't got into this so long ago, we wouldn't know that these men could go for such long periods of time. And uh, they aren't even fighting a, a downhill battle. Their PSAs were undetectable after 20 years. Wow, thank you for sharing those stories. I'm, it brings me, it heart, warms my heart to be able to hear those stories because it gives me hope and also helps encourage other patients who are dealing with similar situations. And I know it's, it means a lot coming from a prostate oncologist who's been doing it so long. 
Yeah, it's uh, there's uh, and now of course we've got all these new medicines that can help some of the men that may have not responded so well. Uh, we can do much better now than we used to be able to. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like more information about bone mets or any of the topics that we discussed today, you can go ahead and visit our website, pcri.org. Go ahead and visit our description to find more information in the timestamps of the video so you can see more about the questions that we asked. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us share prostate cancer videos with other patients all around the world. We hope you have a great week.